Yes, blessed, 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 blessed love to each and every one. Another night. Still enjoying the vacation, you know? Everything is good. No complaint. So let me give thanks and praise unto the Heavenly Father first. For His blessings and His love, His guidance and protection, His grace and mercy. And to know that without Him it's not possible, but it's possible with Him and through Him. So I forever and continue to give Him all the praise and glory. Welcome to How Can I Help Speak on this channel. And tonight, you're chilling with Murphy on a Friday night. So we want to talk about a few things tonight. So let me tell you what the two things we're going to talk about tonight. First thing I want to talk to my people. And when I say my people, I don't mean my Jamaican people. I mean my American black people. Then. I want to talk to them. The next thing I want to talk about is, they said tomorrow, Saturday, the 11th, so, will be the one year anniversary of the protests in Charlottesville. You read the white supremacy and the Nazis and all these people were protesting and the woman got killed when the man drove the car into the crowd and killed the woman. Now I hear on CNN they were talking about it and I think it's MSNBC and another channel they were talking about the anniversary coming up tomorrow and you know security and all these things and they talk about the girl who was killed but I didn't hear them say anything about the young man who got his head opened up and have to get staples to close the wounds and jawbone broke up and all these things happened. I didn't hear them mention anything about that. But I guess that's how life goes. What are you going to do? You win some, you lose some. <laughs> now, who am I to say, well then, you know, draw to any conclusion. I don't know why they didn't mention it. Maybe they didn't find it important that that young man got injured to mention it while they're talking about the anniversary. <laughs> anyway, oh Lord, my neighbor, my neighbor, my neighbor, my neighbor. Anyway, I want to talk about my people, my black people in the United States of America. And what I want to talk to you guys about tonight is it may sound a little harsh, but you guys scare me. I do not live in the United States of America, but don't scare me bad. Yeah. It seems like you people find it very easy to criticize and to condemn President Obama. Even people who vote for him, I'm talking about everybody. People who vote for him find it so easy and so quick to criticize him, condemn him, call him a liar, say him the leader for the ISIS, him and Hillary Clinton are the one who farm ISIS, him this, him that, and all kind of thing. But yet still, my own black people who vote for Donald Trump don't find anything wrong with anything that Donald Trump say or do. They don't find anything wrong with the separation of children from their parents. They don't find anything wrong with Donald Trump calling people coming from Africa country, I ain't gonna afraid to say it, shit all countries. They don't find no problem with that. Everybody seems to find some way of justifying it. And we always hear this thing said, if it was President Obama, this and that and that and not what. We all know that. And a lot of people who are saying President Obama right now, never used to say it before. But they start to realize, like my grandma would always say to me, 
cow never know the use of him tail until he get it chopped off. Meaning, you have the tail there and you take it for granted. But when the tail get chopped off, no one turn into ox tail, no one fly or fall at the bottom, no one, you don't have no tail for fun with a fly. That's when you start realize what the tail was for. It's a little bit too late. And it's the same thing with some of my black people in the United States. They are not afraid to go on CNN or any one of these channels and say President Obama is a liar and President Obama this and President Obama that and he didn't do nothing for black people and this that. They're not afraid of doing that. But they will not. They will not say anything or see anything wrong with what Donald Trump is doing or what the Republicans are doing. But I, I say, there's something that I always say. If you don't find no problem with the issue of what's going on, you're benefiting from it. And people who benefit from things don't find any problems with it. It's sad. It is sad. You know, I, I sit down and I and I think about it, and you know, to be honest with you, one of the, one of the things why I am so in tune in this in things that goes on in the United States, especially when there's a new government comes in, believe it or not, it affects the rest of the world. Some places to a great extreme. Some places not that much. But any time something goes on in the States, it seems like it trickle down over here in Canada. You have Donald Trump over there who is doing his thing and, you know, carrying on. Then we have the Premier over here, the Premier of Ontario, Canada. That a lot of people are saying he's just like Donald Trump. Now I wouldn't know because I don't follow up the Canadian politics as much, to be honest with you. I don't follow it as much. I know what's going on and everything, but I try to stay in tune to what's going on in the United States. And ever since they have a new president, it just seems like the country who used to be, who was supposed to be the superpower, the country who was supposed to be, you know, the, where everybody jumped to, slipping, slipping real bad. Looking bad and it's sad. They, they always said you never know, you, you never see the garbage inside of your house or inside of your yard because you're in there. But when you're outside looking in, you get a better view. You get a better view. And the United States look very shallow to me right now and to a lot of people. And it is so sad when I watch some of these news channels and they have on some of Donald Trump supporters and surrogate and voters and all these people who support Donald Trump. And they're asking them questions. Say, for instance, they were talking, they were asking Paris if, he's, Paris if he sees anything wrong with Donald Trump using the term shit old countries when he was speaking about, yeah. And Paris sit there and do everything to justify what Donald Trump did. Instead of just saying, you know something, the president was wrong. Bottom line, don't, 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 you know, it, it's a yes or no thing. It's a yes or no thing. It's no reason to find all these, well, you know, maybe the president was, uh, and we all know how the president speak. And Listen to the name. President, the president, the president. It's a prestige thing, a prestige name that should go to people with prestige qualities. Now, does Donald Trump have prestige qualities? I don't know. 
because the quality that he's portraying right now doesn't look that way. He has said many things, he has made many gestures, he just speak his mind. And I really think that Donald Trump is waiting for somebody to stand up to him and tell him that, listen, you are wrong, and that is not right, and that is not right. But there's nobody. Nobody. Because everybody is benefiting from it. I've watched many times and seen even Democrats, black Democrats, because like I said, I'm talking to my black people. What is it that you are afraid of so much? To tell your president when he's wrong. I think he will understand him more. And he will get to figure out more of what he's doing. Instead of coming on CNN and saying all these things. Sometimes I, you know, it, 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 I sit there and I'm like, I don't know if it's Donald Trump supporters or his voters are getting to me. I don't know if it's them or it's the CNN and MSNBC and all these. I wouldn't even mention Fox because Fox is a Donald Trump channel, channel already. But it just sound it just sound a way when I hear these people speak and saying how much the president is wrong and he shouldn't be doing this and doing that. The only person, I'll be honest with you, there's one person, one black person that I see in politics right now who is not afraid to tell the president of the United States that he's wrong and she don't care how he thinks after me after she say what she have to say and it's anti Maxine Waters. I call her anti Maxine. She ain't afraid of speaking. She's not afraid of speaking. And that's what you need, the boldness. Donald Trump is dealing with you with boldness and don't care or well oh, my parents used to my grandparents used to say you just know, don't care and every day. That's how Donald Trump is throwing it out there. Because there's nobody, there's no one to stand up and say, yo you're wrong. Check the facts. Nobody. But yet still, every time something happened, if it was Donald, if it was Barack Obama, if it was the, can't call nobody else name. Can't call Bush and all the other ones. It's just Barack Obama. Because a lot of you started appreciating Barack Obama after you kicked him out and do all that you did to him. But like I said, I just wanted to put that out there. Noah, do I say Barack Obama is a prince? Hmm? Do I say Barack Obama is this holier than thou? No. He has his fault and he has his ways and he's done his thing too. But you look at Barack Obama and number one, I wouldn't even put Donald Trump and Barack Obama in the same category. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that because it's like I would be talking about a Jaguar and a Honda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They always say to be the man. To be the man is not being in a place and being the loudest and like you want people to be afraid of you and all these things. If you're the man, Mr. President, if you're the man, when you walk into a room, people will know you're the man. You don't have to tell them you're the man. You don't have to announce it or anything. And it's sad to see that this president is trying so hard to do everything to destroy Barack Obama. instead of trying to do everything to rise above Barack Obama and try to do better. But, hey, I guess that's politics, just corrupted and a whole bunch of craziness. 
to drive other people crazy. But I think I get a full understanding of, like I said, my people. Yeah. I've been I've been watching it for a while. I've been even watching some of the pastors and the things they do and say, and I'll be honest with you. Sad. But who am I? I'm not an American. I'm just a citizen of the world. This is all can I help speak on this channel? This is Murphy. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And the other day I put on my video, my channel, my video that I want to reach 500 because I'm at 416. Well, let me go back down and take it little by little like how I started. Let's get to 450, then we talk about 500. All right. Let's do it that way. And another thing again too, for all the viewers and subscribers on this channel, I have another channel and it's called Blessed Love Channel. It's a channel for my dog that I do some, you know, I ain't perfect. I ain't no dog trainer, but I'm trying to do things with him and, you know, give him some training and some obedience and so forth. As you will, when you subscribe to the channel, you will see the videos and see what I'm doing. And I'm open for tips. All right. So like I said, like, share and subscribe. This is Murphy. How can I help speak on this channel? And I'm out. Murphy's and Murphets. Peace.